hey, it's Warren Hewitt here. Hope you're doing marvelously well. The good folks at Sonox have given us two plugins to try. One is the Oxford Evolution, and the other one is the Oxford Limiter. I'm very excited to try both of these out because I've heard really good things about both of them, particularly the Envolution, which I have been recommended to try on a drum bus. So here we have a song by Robert John the Wreck. I recorded this at Sunset Sound. It was a whole album recorded live in a day. There are no drum samples on this. This is the drum sound. I'll just loop the pre-chorus so you can hear it. So with the exception of some reverb, no drum samples. That is the sound of the room. Now what I did here is I used three drum buses. I have a straight drum bus here, I have a drum bus crush, and a kick snare bus. Now these three, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create another bus. I'm gonna have these three bussing into one. Let's loop our pre-chorus. Let's get the involution out. Wow, okay, so here it is in the middle on the transient. Let's increase the transients. Off. It's immediately really dramatic. and go the other way. So I'm gonna go crazy. That release time there, you can see I'm lengthening how much of the transient it gets. Oh, the attack is letting the, if I go back to here, it's catching all the initial transient here. Nice. Wow, it's kind of an interesting tool. I think it's already getting pretty massive. I don't need to do as much as that. I'm really showing you what, how to overuse it. I go back to the attack here, get the transient quite snappy. Bypass it. I like this idea. A mix control is fantastic on any plugin these days. It's a must. I think it's a massive difference. Have a listen. It's a pretty huge difference there. I like that idea a lot. You know what I love about working in DAWs, about working in the box, is the fact that we can automate anything. So what I can do is I can shape the transient the way I want it to be for different sections. If I got a really super dense section, like coming up next, listen to this chorus. Because I have a snare bus, right? So let's just say, I could just mute that for a second. We'll just mute it for the heck of it, okay? Let's go, um, because we're not using any samples. Wow, just on its defaulted setting, just cranking that transient. That's amazing.
That's fantastic. That's really, really good. And we haven't even got into adjusting the sustain on it yet, um, but you can see just on a mono snare. Look, and now we can get frequency conscious. We can decide where we want that to be, where we want that focus to be. I've got a tilt. Oh. So I can drive my transient here or here. Sustain. You know what, I need more time to mess around with this. This is really, really good. I wanna see what this warmth control does. Wow. Bypasses the entire plug-in effect. It says warmth, adds warmth to the signal by introducing subtle distortion at 100% warmth. The plug-in, its output level cannot exceed Zero, okay. Love it. Off, on. Fan bleeding tastic. So this frequency here shows us the sustained frequency mix controls. Up here shows the transient frequency mix controls. Really, really nice. Really, really tasty. I'm gonna, I'm got it quite dramatic at the moment, so I'm gonna scale it back. That's a really, really cool drum shaping tool. I'm leaving it on. That's just on the snare, made a huge difference. Heck, while we're here, I'm gonna quickly put it on the kick again. Remember, this is only live kick. No samples. Get that transient up. Let's shorten the sustain. Already loving it. Bypass. Great. You know me, I just opened up the plug and started to use it. It's absolutely freaking fantastic. So I'm gonna go and do it on the whole drum mix as well. Drum bus here, open this up. I'm gonna do a little soft amount. Absolutely loving it. It's, it kind of reminds me of mixing through an SSL. I've got that spankiness back. Remember, no drum samples were harmed during this mix. Let's go and try the limiter. I'm gonna to go to the overall mix bus. I turned everything off my mix bus so you were hearing there. I had some EQs, I had some compression, I had all kinds of stuff going on. It's all turned off. I'm just gonna go straight away and just go and use the limiter. Even its default 
Great. Bring it down a little bit. Whole mix. That's nice because it's mainly just catching the kick and snare transients that I just boosted, but it's folding them back in in a really nice way. It's really nice. What's the enhanced curve? Adjust the amount of dynamic enhancement from zero to 125% in normal mode, the full sample value limit occurs at 100% or higher. Safe mode is engaged, sample value limits occurs throughout the range. The enhanced fader then controls the degree of dynamic loudness boost. Let's see what it does. I mean, I'm crashing the schnizzle out of it now, but it sounds really, really good. There was something about the Oxford stuff that when it came out, and if you go back to the original kind of Oxford, Oxford consoles and everything, the EQs, everybody absolutely loved them. So I love that Sonox has taken this over. Please go down below and click on the link. There'll be one above here and you can win one of three copies of both of these. So you can win three of each of these. Thank you very much, Sonix, for letting us use these, and I will definitely be using them a lot. The limiter sounds fantastic. Absolutely love what is going on with the um, Envolution. Really, really great tools. Have a marvelous time recording and mixing, and I'll see you all again very soon.